Hello everyone and welcome back. Do you suffer from chronic back pain, especially in your lumbar region, or you're not alone? There is an increasing amount of people suffering from back pain due to the fact that we're spending an increased amount of our time bent over desks or computers in both our work and home life. There are several muscles that are commonly associated with chronic pain, especially in the lumbar region. The first of these is erector spinae, which is actually a bundle of muscles that extends from the neck down to the pelvic regions and is involved in straightening the back and maintaining the posture. Tension at trigger points in erector spinae has been associated with dull aches and pains that radiate across the entire back. The next muscle is latissimus dorsi, which is a large sheet-like muscle extending from your pelvic regions all the way up from your spine to your arms. Latissimus dorsi is essential in moving your arms and maintaining the stability of your lower back. Tension at trigger points in latissimus dorsi have been associated with both dull pains in the lower back alongside sharp pains that occur when you move your arms. The next muscle is quadratus lumborum, which is the muscle extending from your pelvis to the bottom of your ribcage. It's essential in maintaining the posture of your lower back and straightening the spinal cord in the lumbar region. Tension at trigger points in quadratus lumborum have been associated with both dull and sharp pains in the lumbar region of your back. Finally, psoas major is a muscle that originates from the spinal cord and inserts down the top of the femur in the upper leg. It's associated with flexing at the hip joint alongside rotating the trunk. Pain in psoas major often manifests in the upper leg, pelvic regions, lower back, and radiating into the abdomen. Deep tissue massage that targets these trigger points to relieve tension has been shown to greatly reduce chronic pain. That's why we developed Little Mum Deep Trigger Point Massager. It's designed to simulate a deep tissue massage by targeting trigger points directly to relieve tension and reduce pain. To do this, it has seven nodes that are positioned either side of the spinal cord that are capable of pressing into the back, targeting trigger points and relieving tension. Furthermore, its flexible design allows for it, when compressed by lying down on it, to curve to fit the form of your back. Finally, by allowing it to roll, the massager can target different points in your back and simulate a deep tissue massage. In our original test designs, we used lightweight material such as polyurethane EVA, which although it was cost effective, was too compressible and didn't provide enough pressure to properly stimulate a deep tissue massage. Therefore, in our final models, we've set it on 100% silicon, which is firm enough to properly stimulate the masseuse's fingers in a proper deep tissue massage. To use the massager, it can be done on four different regions of the back. The shoulders, the middle back, the lower back and the pelvis. To use it in the shoulders, make sure that the large nodes are pointing towards your feet. Align it with your spine and lie back so it's positioned over your shoulders. Put your feet firmly planted on the ground with your knees in the air and simply roll back onto the massager. Similarly, to target the upper back, position it so that once again, the large nodes are pointed towards your feet. Place it in line with the upper back and all back. To target the lower back, once again, large nodes towards the feet. Align it with your spine, sit back, your shoulders on the ground 
and roll back like this. Or alternatively, you can flatten your legs and roll back. And that is more comfortable. Finally, to target the pelvis, flip the massager around so that the large nodes are facing towards your head. Place it under your pelvis. Lean back, your feet planted and your knees in the air, and roll forward. In all these positions, you can adjust the way your weight sits on the massager to target different sides of your back by raising one leg in the air to focus the pressure. If you lose for a less intense experience, you can reduce the pressure on your back by completing the massage on a softer surface such as a bed. It's expected that during the massage you will feel some kind of discomfort as you are relieving tension at trigger points in your back to relieve pain. This discomfort will fade after your 5-10 minute massage. Thank you, that's all for today. See you next time.